Hey everyone, welcome back to the Modern Redemption series. We're here. I leave in like three days to go visit my brother. Me and him, we're gonna go hit up Disney World. have a little brother bonding. And I'm gonna be gone for like almost two weeks. I don't get back till like around September 2nd, a day before my birthday. September 3rd is my birthday. Thank you for all the wishes ahead of time. But yeah, I'm just trying to get some videos out before I leave. Hopefully I get a couple out. If anything, I'll just get like three or four Modern Redemption episodes out. It is time to do some stuff. What is the stuff we're doing? We have to kill all the mech bosses. That's number one. And then after that, we should be able to get our hands on our next armor set, which is what I want to do. The next armor set's like Sephirion or something like that. Uh, so let's see here. I want to make this hollowed stave. People told me that this was decent you know maybe i should go read the comments this is the only comment i remember is people telling me to get the hollowed stave all right just went through the comments there wasn't much there's only one reply to my comment and it was i think a hollowed stave comment actually i don't know but let's see how this one works wow uh what's the special ability swift cast okay that's cool that's cool so i heard a combination of these two is not bad hold up these are materials what are these materials for ah you see i like this i like this i like combining a bunch of weapons into one stronger one i feel like that's always cool but yeah let's fight uh skeletron prime in the last video i said that i usually am pretty good at taking on skeletron prime the twins less but uh you know skeletron prime i could take on i still will make a you know i mechanical eye because we got to kill both these bosses today we knock them out of the way we get a newer ore to generate i think that's how it works it said mechanical bosses so i'm assuming we got to kill all of them for the uh, sephiron ore something like that is that sapphire but isn't no isn't it called sephiron sephiron sapphire on i don't know all right let us fight skeletron let's do it uh I don't remember what the combo was. Wait, 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 let's let's just right click this and see what it does. Okay, it makes it shoot fast, but I think honestly, this staff is a little bit better than crystal one. It penetrates, which penetration is always good. Don't take that out of context, all right? But uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens for this fight. This fight is actually going pretty well already. But like, I'm gonna try the right click with a bunch of these staves. Staves. See which one uh, is a better combo. Let's try uh let's try using this right here. The, the cadence. The cadence shoots like pretty damn fast, so you know, might as well use it. The only thing is, I don't think it pierces. We want piercing. We want something. I don't know what we want. We want something. Just throw a bunch of stuff over. I hope it works. I think I'm gonna actually like use the Icor bag as much as I can. Let's try this combo. The ice stave uh, right click with the piercing. Am I even hitting it? Not bad. I like the speed on it. Uh, does this crystal stave have a right click? It does not. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Let me try some other stuff here. Let's try the giant dandelions. Why not? See how this is. Not exactly like the fastest or craziest weapon, but you know, it does cover a wide area. But yeah, so far, I 100% think this is our best weapon, our go-to right here. Is this baby, the crystal stave. I did make a new accessory right here, Druid Charm. There's like three of them we can make, and then there's like an ultimate one we can make. So I think uh, we have another goal right there for accessories. And we are pretty much at the end of the fight. I'm going to go straight into the twins fight uh, because, you know, we already wasted a good part of the day you know i gotta get or a good part of the night i gotta get to the next fight this thing is not bad i don't know what's applying icor to them does the enchanted stave do it i don't know but whatever is applying icor is really really helping it's making my life a lot easier all right let's mix it up here get some beautiful dandelions imagine, imagine like dandelion like whatever the hell that is in your eye that that probably doesn't feel too good okay i'm low-key getting my ass beat i'm just really bad at this fight i'm telling you <laughs> Get better, Game Raiders. Okay, I will. I'll try to. See, why am I even going towards uh, the Matism while he's in his second form? See, that's just stupid right there. That's bad gameplay, Game Raiders. This is good gameplay right here, though. Look at this. Good gameplay. Good gameplay. Switch to this. Uh-oh, I'm about to activate both of them. I shouldn't do that. Wait, no. That's fine. All right, there you go. Matism is dead. Let's get to it here. The real fight begins. Do this. Boom. Start spinning. Oh, yes. Free damage. Free damage we get off right there. Once I get my little run going, we're good to go. We win. We win. Lasers not hitting me. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I'll be embarrassed if I got hit by the lasers. There we go. Both bosses done just like that. You love to see it. Oh, druidic energy courses through the... I was reading it. The world's ore. The lab's defense systems have malfunctioned. The jungle grows restless. Yes, sir. Look at that. Unstable portal. Let's kill it. Will it drop something? 
absolutely not all right i have no idea where the uh new ore spawns if i were to guess i would say like near hell that's where i would guess maybe it's in the corruption because it is a, a corruption counterpart or a corruption theme thing i know if you play with crimson you get the opposite which is like a ruby or something i don't know max and ruby ruby and ruby and max no scarlet that's what you get you get scarlet stuff all right let's take our splunkers let's see let's see which theory is true here maybe like gamers check the wiki i checked the wiki page of the Sephiron or and it just says generates after mech bosses are killed did not give me too much information that's okay i'll figure it out look right there there it is that has to be it now the real question is can i mine it mine it or do i need a hollow pickaxe probably a hollow pickaxe okay definitely need another pickaxe it's all good it's all good takes like a second still in 1.3 so obviously i'm gonna make the pickaxe axe all right let's mine it this time it's not in the vein miner thing there you go boom beautiful all right so with this we make our new armor we make what other whatever new stuff we can make out of it so let me mine a bunch of it i'll be right back all right with the saffiron in our hands let's see how much we need here 24 12 18 that's like 54 i think if my math serves me right if it doesn't serve me right you know oh well the only thing i'm good at counting is money but let's see let's see i honestly don't even know if we have enough Ooh, we might have enough i'm gonna just might as well craft all of it you know boom there's that boom there's that and boom there's that uh our defense should go up obviously because this is like the first pre-hard mod set we can get or hard mod set we can get damage better go up it better what it went down what the fuck <laughs> You are surrounded by three corruption spirits. Damages foes and reforms quickly after death. Now I'm interested. Can I get the Scarlet stuff? Is there any way I could get the Scarlet stuff? Maybe I should just check the wiki if it does anything different. It does look cool. I honestly, I think I like the red more than the blue. Uh, gang members out there, no affiliation. I just like the colors. That's it. I promise you. But yeah, we actually do do decent damage now. I don't know. I said doo doo. Uh, do I have another corruption? I have one more corruption. Wait, no, no, no. <gasps> I do have another one over here. This is a terrible world. Look at this. One corruption, two corruptions, three corruptions. This is some 1.4 generation. But yeah, I need to go check the other corruption. Oops. Because I did not find that much in our corruption. Not that much Saffiron or Saffiron or my bad if I've been pronouncing it wrong. Uh, this guy right here. Can I talk to him about quests? What's he got for quests? Uh, oh, it's the adamantium, adamantite thing. Uh, I had to craft this, right? I didn't have enough adamanta. That's why I never did this. Okay. I, I could figure it out. Figure it out. In the meantime, though, let me talk to Alice here. Buy some spelunkers from her. Just like five of them. And it's back to spelunking for more of this stuff. Because we need more of it to craft more stuff. Because obviously, that's what I want to do right now. It turns out that this ore spawns everywhere which is very nice makes my life easier i thought it was just the corruption this is nice because we're going to get a bunch of it very easily and also i went to the other corruption over here and it just sucks like what is this <laughs> none of them led to like any eater orbs or anything it was just like just deep pits so not only is there three corruptions in this world but the third one sucks that's embarrassing all right i crafted the blessed sapphire stave or i guess sapphire stave the seed in action oh uh, we got this. Tainted Necklace was also made from Sapphire stuff. Even as dark as moment, the corruption refuses to stand still. Upon being taken, unleash a storm of hateful spirits around you. Cool. And I got the sword sheath. So let's head to spawn here. Let's see what it gives us for this. This is the first hard mode quest, I believe. And I'm finally getting around to doing it. Oops. It happens. Reward bag. What you got? What you got? Uh, okay. What's next? Before me and Daryl got separated tell me about some same strange sword from this world it's called the zwai hander whatever the name is do you think you can craft that for me i'm sure this cool sword will make all the ladies fall for me <sighs> this dude got me crafting him stuff all right zwai hander let's see here so there's a rusty one which I'm, i might have all that stuff magic metal polish what the hell is that do i craft that i craft that oh, okay not too bad of a recipe go ahead kill this thing not bad damage all right so i do want to check out the lab people just told me that the lab has nothing interesting for me to like post moon lord or something like that late hard mode something like that but i doesn't mean i don't want to check it out i still want to check it out so let me find my way down there unless i can craft this y hander right now let's see oh okay i can actually craft it magic polish boom zwei hander completed just like that 
You love to see it. All right, give me the goods, bro. Boom. All right, what's the next quest? Uh, really can use something to help me? I don't know, potion of courage. Elixir of courage. Another thing we have to craft. Okay. I'm definitely not liking these hard mode quests compared to the uh, regular. Oh my God, what is this recipe? The regular quests in pre-hard mode were way cooler. Like when they made me hunt down monsters. Come on, hunting down monsters is just way more fun. Uh, 25 ale, 10 pixie dust. I should have everything else. Damn, they're making me use all my souls, bro. I don't know if I want to do this quest. They're making me use my soul. Well, we'll do this one later because like I'm not trying to use up all my souls some of the souls I want to actually use for some stuff obviously all right, but yeah to the lab. Where is it? It is in the snow biome got it i will be right back i'll see y'all there lab time the music is bumping people didn't want me to visit here they would have made me miss out on the bumping music so what am i supposed to do i'm supposed to what the fuck i'm supposed to break the sludge what's that infection out of the i don't i don't mess with the the sludge i noticed this weapon goes through the walls by the way it's pretty cool this mod has me fighting enemies that don't drop anything come on at least drop like a single coin okay what do we got i love everything in here it is pretty weird how you know they have druid stuff and then they have uh, stuff like this and like nuclear stuff but at the same time it's like completely polar opposite so it kind of makes sense at the same time but it's also kind of weird i kind of wish they had more even more nature stuff oh don't go there the floor is wet wait you're a trespasser well bro we're out of i'm sorry i didn't mean to come here oh god I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't even know we we're gonna come over here and fight somebody. I just I came over here looking for just cool things, and they got me fighting a janitor, bro. Like the music is bumping. You can't just focus on your work. You gotta focus on me. I hope that he doesn't have like an insane like phase two that's about to happen. This mod really has me fighting a janitor. What is, what is this mod come to? <laughs> I, I'm sorry to bother this man. All right, and there you go. He's dead. All right, fine. You can probably handle yourself here. Thank you, Mr. Janitor. Have this lab access. I got mopping to do. See? Get to work, bro. Don't worry about me, bro. Get to work. Lab access panel opens up the alpha sector of the lab. Okay, I really didn't expect to fight a boss here. Oh, okay. See, I really thought these doors were going to work. I could go this way, though? Question mark. I, I don't know if there's something to press. I don't know what's interactable. That's the thing with uh, Terraria. You know, if I was playing Starbound, a lot of stuff would look a lot more interactable and make sense. Or I actually can interact with it. Am I supposed to go this way? Maybe I should read. Let's read. Opens up the alpha sector of the lab. There you go. Okay. Gotta actually use it. Got it. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Careful now. So we could drop down here. Cool. A lot of, a lot of guck, muck, whatever the hell, slime. Young thug might be around here. We gotta watch out. What about these? Are these pills? Radiation pills. Whoa. Calm down now. Calm down. This place is sick though. I love it. Probably one of my favorite things from this mod is the lab. Oh, we got a chest here. Didn't even notice the chest. Where are these enemies coming from? Are they like walking through the doors or something? I'm taking the chest. Oh, it's a petrified wood chest. All right, let's go to the left. What's popping over here? I don't know what I can interact with and what I can't interact with. So I'm just going to click on random things when I see them like this over here. Hello, I will be taking this. What is that thing though? I don't know. I think I need something. What's over here? Can I interact with the computer? No. Okay, so they are coming out of the doors. Whoa, whoa a lot of them coming out of this door. Oh, look at this. I bounce on the slime. Is this Xenomite? Oh, I do not mind getting my hands on some Xenomite. Don't know what we're going to use it for. All right. We got a little electricity. Can I break it? No. I'm assuming I dodge it. Oh, does it not actually hurt us? Oh, it does. Okay. Can I get into this section? Nope. All right. So that's just a section we're not allowed into yet. Can I break this? I can't break that. So we break that later, I'm assuming. Okay. What about a uh, bottom left? Bottom left might have some stuff. What's going on over there? We got some like vats of stuff. Get a lot of xenomite from this. Hopefully, I can craft something out of it. That's about it. I don't think I can go this way anymore. Look, there's even like more sludge. There's like the darker green and then there's a black one. Interesting. So, the only one I can touch is the light green. And the last light green I saw was up here in the elevator shaft. I'm assuming this was the elevator. Wait, no, it was darker green. So, I can't even go this way. So, there's really nothing we can do here yet. I mean, it's still cool though. It's still cool. Probably one of my favorite biomes of all time because it's just so unique but yeah we got some stuff radioactive launcher cool plasma saber cool whoa 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 uh we got radiation pills awesome a lot of xenomite what else do we get carbon myofiber 
what is this used for this has to be used for something like when i see all this like robotic stuff i'm assuming there's not much here that is actually used for druid all right but let's look at the king slayer what does the king slayer need he needs a cyber tech we probably won't fight him this episode interesting recipe yeah we probably won't fight him this episode definitely the next i think for the rest of this episode what i'm gonna do is do uh the quests from this dude and then try and get my hands on more items that we can get at this point in time so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna look into some things i'll see you guys in a second all right look at this sacred cross seven percent increased druidic damage increased spirit summons by two two i wish there was more spirit items honestly nobody in the comments has like even told me they're like yep game readers do that spirit stuff no that's how i know it's not that good but there isn't too much to it quest would you would you give me actually i don't care what's the next one yo bro i found daryl he's stuck in a giant slime creature i tried to get him out but i but i lose my new sword in there so i had to make a righteous retreat a lot of a lot of uh misspelling and grammar errors almost looks like how i talk you can take it down right i found it in the corruption or crimson or whatever that evil land is called i'm also selling it i'm alert easier so go get it mythos bane okay cool well, what was what's the item he's selling evil jelly loses dark gelatin is being sold by zephos uh yeah sure why not let's hope we find it let's hope it's also not too hard to fight i'm hoping i'm, I'm hoping pray it's not too hard to fight but let's see let us see boom so it just gives us a buff lures the dark slime all right where are you mr dark slime come on out come on out i'm hoping that the the snow biome and crimson works or corruption works and that doesn't matter oh oh there he is that's a big slime right there hey watch this right click look at this right click attack it is probably one of the best right click attacks i've ever seen if we combine this with like other stuff like it, it legit might be insane damage but there you go is dead that was probably the easiest mini boss the i fought the whole entire series so far i don't know fighting him in the cave was a was a cheese or what and is it projectiles were getting stuck or something who the hell knows all right but look is is daryl hi daryl wow cool stuff for still daryl does he say anything does he have quests too oh yes quests that's cool all right daryl i need you to move in somewhere safe though daryl you're gonna die i just saved you don't die this sword says only usable after plantera has been defeated okay a little bit annoying i mean i'm not gonna use it but imagine getting a sword and you can't use it until you kill plantera okay so it seems like quest with uh zephos is done good and i think we take our future quest from daryl let's see do i have any uh things you can combine here anything you could repair go ahead repair all of them we have victor's battle tome and we have uh, aki's claws cool uh, i'll take all the fragments to him later like all of them at once to him later bro i always like right click and use my staves on accident <laughs> what is this i have fatigue you're on road with tiredness why does this keep on happening look now i have nausea where'd the music go what's happening my character is dying i think my character has covid i don't know what's happening I, i'm slowly dying i don't know how to stop it do i need like a radiation pill maybe i need a radiation pill let's let's read it let's read it now here's radiation posting uh fatigue and nausea there you go. <laughs> I have uh, popped the radiation pills. Make sure you guys read the labels before you pop anything. If I didn't read the label, what if I popped it for no reason? All right, but yeah, I need nighttime to come because I do want to fight the destroyer. I need to restore on some hollowed bars and I need some souls of might. Uh, there's a couple of things we could do with souls unless i've done them already let me see let me see oh yeah look right here so we can craft this we can craft sun shard great stave which i do really really want this combines the hollow stave and the crystal one do i have the i have all this let's make this sun shard great stave boom hopefully i'll still have souls okay barely damn i have a lot of souls i might I actually need like all the other souls but look at that blooming sun shard great stave all right what else can we make there was a couple of other things boom dancing ring and then mechanized world stave is that it any other cool things probably there's probably some more is this thing botanist station we gotta fight the plant or fight planetary soon all right dancing ring mechanized world dancing ring mechanized world can i make any of these okay i cannot make the dancing ring one i am missing what am i missing oh, i'm missing one soul of fright are you kidding me all right what about the uh the mechanized i can't make the mechanized one the mechanized one is a buff stave though i don't really know if i want to use a buff stave. ah whatever no reason not to all right I'm gonna wait for nighttime, fight more mech bosses. If there's anything else I can craft, we'll do that and we'll end the episode there. All right, I am ending the episode off here. Again, leave comments for tips of weapons, of what I'm supposed to do next because I always find myself blundering and running into walls and not knowing what to do. 
when did i cut a hole in the tree right here but yeah if you guys wanted to see these weapons in action they're pretty good i destroyed skeletron really quickly uh i made this right here a xenomite stay i made some uh, xenomite wing you know might as well but check this out when i right click and then i use this thing oh my god this thing was a damn near insta killing skeletron when it came to like his arms and stuff but yeah the weapons are pretty good pretty good pretty good pog yeah again leave comments tips you know you know what to do just you know what to do